This is Timothy Priscilla, and today my business calculus class and I are working with the generalized power rule. And this is a good problem because it's sort of reminiscent of Math 1324 when we were working with the compound interest formula. However, they modified the formula slightly. Here's the problem. An amount of $17,000 is deposited in an account with an interest rate of R% percent per year compounded monthly. At the end of seven years, the balance in the account is given by... I want to say blah blah, but I guess I got to read it out. A equals 17,000 times 1 plus R over 1200 to the 84 power. Find the rate of change of A with respect to R, written as a percentage, for the interest rates given in parts A, B, and C. Now, part A, they want us to plug in 1.5%, part B, 3%, and part C, 3.9%. Well, we'll just, board, we'll just do uh, part A because uh, uh, the numeric calculus, part B and C are just plugging in different numbers. So the one is to find the rate of change. When you see that phrase rate of change, what should you think of? Derivative. Okay, so we're going to have to find the derivative. And let me rewrite this problem. It's 17,000 times 1 plus. Notice R over 1,200. I told you all a while back that I don't like it when it's just a variable over a number. I'm going to think of it as 1 12 hundredth times R to the 84 power. And now... I'm going to find the derivative. Notice we have a quantity raised to a power. So hopefully you have your calculators ready because we're definitely going to want to have them when we're doing these calculations. So we have, you take the 84 using the generalized power rule. We take 84 times 17,000. times 1 plus 1 twelve hundredth r to the, what's the new power? 84 minus 1 is 83. We then multiply by the derivative of the inside stuff. That's why I like to write that r over 1200 as 1 twelve hundredth times r. Makes it more obvious uh, what the derivative of the inside stuff is. What's the derivative of 1? zero. What's the derivative of 1 twelve hundredth r? The derivative of a number times a variable is just that number 1 twelve hundredth. So digging out our calculators, I'm going to take the 84 times the 17,000 and then multiplying by 1 twelve hundredth. That's the same thing as dividing by 1200. Let's see. Is this calculator going to show up here? No, not really. Well, let's see. 84 times 17,000 divided by 1,200. What are y'all getting? I'm getting 1,192. Also, not 1,192. I mean, 1,190. That's what I'm getting as well. And we still have the 1 plus... I guess I'll convert that 1 twelve hundred R back to just R over 1200 to the 83 power. So there's our rate of change formula. I took 84 times 17,000. I divided it by the 1200. That gave me the 1,190. And I went ahead and converted the 1 twelve hundredth R back to just R over 1200 because now for part A, they want us to find how rapidly is that account balance changing when the interest rate is 1.5%. So R is equal to 1.5. Notice we don't have to convert the uh, interest rate, resist that urge to write as a 0 0.015. They've gone through and they multiplied above and below they multiplied above and below by 100 right here, so you wouldn't have to worry about converting that 1.5% to 0 0.015. Just plug in 1.5 for uh, R, so we're going to have A prime equals 1190, that's a 90, a 1190 times 1 plus 1.5 over 1200 to the 83 power. 
that's a pretty low interest rate. So we have we have 1190. Let's see if I can get this display to show. So that's times 1 plus 1.5 over 1200 raised to the 83 power. And once again, I don't think that's very uh, uh, visible here, okay, but mm, what is that? $1,320 and I guess if we're around to near cent, it would be what? One cent? They want us to round it to two decimal places, so $1,320 and one cent. Agree or disagree? Okay. Uh, now, those of you punching in, I mean, agree or disagree? Agree? Okay. And for part B, you just plug in a 3 there instead of the 1.5. And for part C, what is it, a 3.9? You'd plug in the 3.9 in place of the 1.5. So for parts B and C, you would just plug in the uh, different numbers. So, once again, this is Timothy Priscilla just doing a little business calculus with this bus with my business calculus class. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.